My dudes, Carter Bitsby tripping. It has been a crazy day already with uh, the start. I mean, we're at four o'clock today. Been slammed doing work all day today, and we are getting asphalt as we are getting a, a parking lot here at BBT East. So we're gonna have some good space in here now with a nice clean driveway and uh, asphalt to park stuff in and when we get new pallets and machines in. So getting all that done, the site's been obviously, our, our site builds are going good. You guys saw all yes, last week's video, getting all the ubiquity equipment ready. Um, and yeah, it's a, just the grind continues, my dudes. A lot going on in you know the government space right now with regulatory environment stuff. And I want to have, we're going to do a live stream. We got the live stream stuff here. It's been a minute since I've done one with you guys, but we're going to do a live stream. I'm trying to set it for Wednesday or Thursday this week. We're really looking at the schedule right now to see how that goes, but I'd like to do a live stream with you guys to just kind of bring you guys up to speed. You know, it's multiple hours, not like one of these, um, you know, six minute vlogs or something and kind of just work with you guys on what we have been doing. We are working on two separate bigger deals and, you know, I have to go through a lot of county processes, rezoning things. I want to take a little peel back with that with you guys. So if you, that's something of interest because there's a lot of lessons that we have learned in this process. And, uh, you know, I just want to share this with our experiences and maybe those experiences will help you guys. Um, you know, and save you some time and money as part of that process. But I want to go through some of that um, and then go through just, you know, crypto market is really moving, my dudes. Like it's it's changing. Um, the mining game is just, you know, it's not like it was with, with GPU mining. Um, and ASIC mining is, is a, it's a business at this point. I mean, like a lot of the big businesses uh, publicly traded companies, that sort of thing, getting into it bigger. You know, we are agile and small and control our cost. So it makes us uh, much more viable, I think, in the longer term than the, the bigger companies because just we can adapt fast, we fix things fast, um, and we just don't have the cost that it comes with like a publicly traded company. So I think that there is space for still the small business and medium sized businesses, but it's just getting into such a numbers game now. It's not, you know, uh, and there's so much, if you look at the amount of growth in the Bitcoin network, you know, we just had a negative 7.3% or 7.7, .7, somewhere around there, uh, adjustment in the difficulty. So right now the blocks are advancing and racing fast. Uh, through the network right now. So the, the yields look really good right now because we're just, we're cutting through this epoch really fast, which just means that the velocity of you getting more money is catching up for the past few weeks where it's been um, not as much. And I'm gonna bring up a quick bit RAR for we can look at what the difficulty is right now. And yeah, here we go. So we're still 33 blocks ahead right now. I mean, this targeting range is, you know, three to 10%. We have a 7.47% difficulty adjustment. You can see how many blocks were ahead. And, you know, there was some confusion with, you know, was this something with like Iran or something? Like did the sites get hit, were they mining and it took out the power? I think the power and the situation that we were seeing last week now looking at this adjustments seeing that we, we you know adjusted down but now we're advancing forward it's cooler this week and i think a lot of places were curtailed i think a lot of bitcoin mining was curtailed seven percent eight percent of bitcoin mining was curtailed um and that shows you just how much of an impact bitcoin mining in the u.s is right now with curtailment because we're advancing forward so nobody you know the the the, the difficulty adjustment happened on sunday or saturday night late um and it was pretty much baking hot all the way through Sunday. So like in most of the Midwest and throughout Texas and uh, you know, the essentially the Corn Belt, everywhere that a lot of the mining has went. Um, a lot of us were curtailed, like all, all of us stuff in Illinois was curtailed most of last week. And it's just what it is. So I think that shows you kind of the ebb and flow. Um, and, and it makes it interesting for me to do like a, a new model. 
update the current multi-model that I have that I've shared with you guys a few times in videos of doing an update on the oscillation that can occur with curtailments and what it does to the Bitcoin network. Because I think what we seen last week was 7% of the market or 7% of the actual Bitcoin folks um, curtailing the loads because we're, we're seeing it advance this week, right? And it's not as hot this week. So I think that's the leading indicator. Don't hold me 100% on it, but I think it is a key indicator of why we've seen the difficulty adjust downward there at the last half of the last two weeks in this area has been just ridiculously hot. And then most of the U.S. Midwest. So, um, yeah, it's interesting um, to, to calculate those things because now it looks like revenues are going to be way up this next two weeks because we're going to race through this epoch. I bet you it only takes 11 days or so, 10, 12, 12 to 11 days, not 14. So we're definitely advancing faster. But that's really it, my dudes. Uh, quick update today. Um, I really actually can't even leave the office right now because they're actually right now um, laying out this this drive for us. So we're, we're going to get that all asphalted right now. So they're doing some serious work out here. But all right, my dudes. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Real quick, easy one today. I'm just talking about uh, Bitcoin difficulty. But stay tuned for the live stream. Let me know down below if you guys would be interested in tuning in that. I'll try to simulcast it both on YouTube and on X. All right, my dudes. I'll catch you on the next one.